We're back with our second week of talks about owls uh, put together by the TLTs in Michigan as part of their training here on our TLT weekend. Hope you enjoy the rest of their stories. Hi, my name is Stephanie. I'm from Lowell. I'm Ivy and I live in Okemos. I'm Lexi and I live in Okemos. So today we're going to be talking about owl's eyes and we have this snowy owl here. So a fun fact about their eyes is that instead of having eyeballs, they have a bone around their eye that squishes it to a tube shape. And so it works similarly to a telescope and it magnifies their eye vision and it gives their, them better depth perception so they can see further. They also have eyes in the front of their head instead of one eye on each side of their head, which helps them see their prey better and they can hunt them better. The owl's eyes are larger than an average bird their size and if they were size of human their eyes would be the big as oranges and since their eyes have um, they're bigger they have uh, lots of surface area for um, sensing more light so they have great night vision God doesn't expect the owls to be able to hunt food and survive in this world without giving them the right tools to do so in the same way, he doesn't expect us to go through trials and temptations without being there to help us and also giving us the right tools. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 13, God is faithful who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able. With the temptation will also make the way of escape that you may be able to bear it. All right. Hello, everybody. My name is Elijah. I'm Nova. I'm Carter. And today we are going, for this Nature Nugget, we are going to be talking about owl sounds and the reason why owls make sounds there's a lot of different reasons but two main reasons that i can think of is for territory to so if you hear an owl it's sig it's signaling to you that you're in their territory and no reason is for calling a mate and yeah the one owl is the great horned owl, and, and they make the generic hoot sound that everybody thinks of. They live in mostly North America, but they do live in parts of Central and South America. They are a little larger than most owls, and they have the distinguished or very noticeable ear tufts at the top of their head. They sound, or uh, one of their sounds. Is... <laughs> so uh, another owl is the short-eared short owl. Um, it's kind of a medium-sized owl. It lives in uh, most of North America and parts of South America, although not necessarily year-round. Um, they make a bunch of different sounds. Um, it's kind of the traditional hoot sound, as well as a more of a meowing type of call, and then a variety of barking harshy type of things um and one of those calls is um kind of a meowing type of call so now with a unique sound that i'm going to be talking about is the eastern screech owl um they can sound like a cooing of a dove uh, a warble a trill and a screech um they are a small owl short and stocky with a large head and yellow eyes. Um, you can barely see their neck. They are mostly a gray, reddish brown, and just a brown. Um, they can, they're relatively commonly found in Eastern North America. They can span anywhere from Mexico to Canada. And they sound like this. And then another one is Yeah, so owls have, of course, a bunch of different sounds. Um, sometimes they might have one sound they normally make or several different calls, and we're like that too. We can have one talent that we're really great at. We can have a bunch of different talents, and even though they're really different, we can all use them to work together and kind of do our different areas and work with God's plan. Uh, baby owls take eight to 10 weeks to find their singing voice, and sometimes it might take a little bit for us to find our talents but God has a plan and he's gonna be able to use it for his glory. Hi, my name is Elisa and I am from Ann Arbor, Michigan. 
Hi, I'm Joshua and I'm from Haymarket, Virginia. Hi, I'm Jonathan. I'm from Bristol, Michigan. Did you know the owls live on all the continents around the world except for Antarctica? They also make their nests in all sorts of different places. In fact, this little guy here actually digs his nest underground. Pretty cool. I got to see them once. Quite they nice. live all around the western United States. They live in South America and they also live in Florida and in the Caribbean. This is the snowy owl. They make their nests in the ground and they can be found in the northernmost parts of the world, especially the Arctic tundra. This is the great horned owl. It mainly makes its nests on cliffs and can be found all around North America. This is the elf owl. They make their nests inside of cactuses and they can mainly be found in Western America or sometimes Northern Mexico. Even though these owls come from all different nests and all different places, they all have different walks of life. Even though we come from different walks of life, that's okay because God is making a home for all of us in heaven. He wants us to know that he's preparing a place for us. In John 14, two through three, he says, I go to prepare a place for you that where I dwell, you may dwell also. So even though we're from all different places, he has a place for us. We, we hope, hope to see, see you there. there. Well, thanks to all of our TLTs, we learned an awful lot about owls, one of God's cool creations. We'll see you next time. Bye.